What's up, guys? It's your pal Juice. Guess who's back? You know? Oh my god. The last show I released was October 11th, 2014. And that was when we did episode 18, where we did a brand new and completely revised review of the Garbage Pail Kids movie from 1987. That was a great show. It was an hour and 36 minutes. Plenty of stuff for you guys to chew on. We had a great time, a whole roundtable discussion. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, October 2014. Can you imagine that? It's been that long, guys. You know, uh, not that much has happened in the Garbage Pill Kid world. You know, this movie that was supposed to happen still never happened. We got those political Garbage Pill Kids, you know, the uh, Snooty Sam cover package thing. Nothing too major. Uh, to talk about, not that I'm making an excuse for why I didn't do this show, it had nothing to do with that, I'm just a lazy guy, no, not too lazy, it's just that I've been doing the horror podcast thing, I told you guys about it, I started doing the Skeleton Crew Horror Podcast, you can see us on iTunes, if you like horror movies, jump on the Skeleton Crew, we're there, we're jamming, we got like 119 episodes, lots of stuff, you guys love the 80s, we did plenty of 80s stuff. Uh, check that show out too. But let's get back to Garbage Pail Kids. You know, it's Juice, man. I'm back, I'm here, and I'm raring to go. It's time to come back. And where we left off is, you know, this show always did reviews. That's what the whole thing was. We always had cool segments in between and things like that. But the real stuff is the reviews of the series of Garbage Pail Kids. I want to give a special shout out to uh, Jevin Zander, though. Uh, awesome guy. He's uh, a really loyal listener. Thanks, bro. Uh, I'm really glad you liked the uh, Hippie Skippy picture. Remember I, on, on some show I talked about how my cousin drew Hippie Skippy and it was so screwed up. His arm was coming out of the side of his head and stuff like that. That is posted, guys. Go to facebook.com uh, slash g.p.k.radio. And that's our Facebook page, guys. I post things there. I've been posting a lot of things more recently. I have a Garage Bill Kid collection I put on display. I posted that. I posted my wall plaques. There's a convention called Monsters and Robots. And a lot of Garbage Bill Kid people are going to be there. And there's a convention coming up on July 1st. It's not a convention. It's a screening of the 30 Years of Garbage Pail Kids documentary. And that's going to be in New York. The tickets came and gone so quickly, I didn't uh, get to uh, buy one. But I'm personal friends with Ron McLaughlin, Juice, and I'm his guest. So I'll, I will be there, guys. So uh, when you see him and you see some weirdo hanging out with him the whole time, that's me, man. So say hello. So I will see you at Monsters and Robots, August uh, 27th and 28th in Somerset in the Expo Center in New Jersey. And I will be in New York. Uh, I don't have the exact location. Just try to look that up. It's July 1st. Type in Garage Pail Kids July 1st convention or 30 years of Garage, whatever. And you'll that's where I'll be. All right, guys. So uh, without any further ado, uh, thanks for checking out this show once again. And... Uh, with a couple brief things in, in between, let's get into um, the Series 14 review of the Garage Pail Kids. Original Series 14. Well, there is no other Series 14. We're not that far yet, right? They keep on starting over anyway. We'll never get to 14. Uh, and now I think they're just numbered by years. I don't, I don't even know what they say anymore. I, I'm just out of it. But, okay, we'll be right back. Series 14, guys. Classic stuff. Come on. Would we lie to you? JDK of Rigor, Missouri was pronounced dead 20 years ago, but is actually alive and well, and living six feet underground. <laughs> Cactus that looks and smells like old sock, owned by Charles Hirsch of North Bergen, New Jersey. In Mount Vernon, Illinois, it is illegal for drivers to pick their noses at green light. <laughs> Destroyed Boyd. Not to get too technical, but shouldn't his head be inside out? Juggling Julian. Am I the only one who doesn't get this joke? 
The juggling is fine, but what does a paper mache wrinkled face have to do with anything? Undersea Lee. This reminds me of when Rocky Dennis looked in the funhouse mirror and he was normal looking in the mirror, in that funhouse mirror. By the way, if he did that and he looked normal, shouldn't Cher have looked abnormal in his normal looking view of himself? Like if, if he, eh, never mind. Artie Party. Most GBK fans are at about this point. The years fly by, huh guys? One day we're seven years old holding a fresh and open pack of Series 4 in our hands. And the next, we just woke up so many mornings that we were eventually 36 years old. <laughs> Abstract Abby. Would have been so much cooler if Mona Loser was the painting on the wall instead of the real Mona Lisa. You know, they, they do way more implementing old Garage Pill kids into modern ones now. They didn't really do that that much back then, so we missed out. By the way, I actually bought that. Remember the 360 wall wall posters they used to have? I bought Mona Loser, and I, I always wanted to... I still have it in the tube. And it's been six years, I think, I've had it. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. But um, I always wanted to buy, like, one of those classic gold frame, Like, whatever you think that the real Mona Lisa is framed in, I always wanted to put Mona Loser in that and treat it like it's real art. But I just... I have not been at the point where I'm willing to invest $70 in a frame for that yet. Nailed Noel. Hanged himself, guys. He didn't hung himself. Use proper grammar, guys. Shannon Cannon. If we had her for this current war, even she would eventually be useless. I mean, Jesus, 15 years of vomit? How could anyone sustain that much for this long? It's just impossible. Violent Viola. you think she would have looked over once her song started sucking or stopped altogether, but no. Halfway through the arm, still nothing. She died, by the way. Sis Boom Bonnie. Yeah, this is a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader halfway through another disappointing season. You'd puke, too, if you saw some of the on-the-field calls and missed opportunities. Half Wit. Man, I haven't seen one of those pencil sharpeners since, like, the mid-90s. I mean, now I just hit backspace. Kissy Missy. You shouldn't go anywhere near her. But do you think she's good at dropping face with those DSLs? And those little nubs are probably good for sensation. I don't know. I don't know. Rufus refused. What exactly is he refusing to do? And look at the other garbage bail kid that's already in the garbage. <laughs> Phone Homer. The J is for J. Mothy Martha. It puts the lotion in the basket. Stew Brew. A favorite of mine that I feel is most likely overlooked. Like, who put this in their top 20 nobody but man it really should be you know S same with baskin robin great stuff i'm telling you guys top 20 show coming i'm gonna or maybe i'll do my favorite 25 garbage pill kids of all time that 25 best of all time we're gonna do that show i might do it the next show hans off is the most overused name in garbage pill kid history no it's kidding i don't know was there two or three that probably still is the most overused Dwayne Stain. Well, it's better than being a cum stain. <laughs> Lappin Larry. When did Spuds McKenzie die? According to Mental Floss, Honey Tree Evil Eye died of kidney failure at the age of 10 in 1993. She had an average lifespan for a healthy English Bull Terrier. Hmm. I had no idea Spuds McKenzie was a bitch. Marsh Room. You guys ever do mushrooms? Man, I never have, but if I had a friend who had one... And I was in a padded room, I'd risk it. Bulletin Boris. You know, he was a normal kid before they put him up on that bulletin board. And once they did, he was just like, well, I guess this is my life now. I wonder if he would have qualified to be a garbage pail kid before they did that. Potato Chip. Hey, it's better than being a passionless asswipe whose whole life consists of working, coming home, cleaning, cooking, eating, showering, and sleeping. At least we have escapism and connected to something in our lives. You creep. Point us down. Millie Meter. Millie looks shocked that her tongue is pulled out, but clearly that's the bane of her existence. I mean, what else does Millie do? Easter Bonnie. Yeah, how do rabbits lay eggs exactly? I mean, does it pop out of... It doesn't pop out of their vaginas, right? Oh, wait. Do they really lay eggs? Swarmin' Armin. 
I heard of a beard of bees, but a head of flies? Doomsday Dawn. Yeah, well, it wasn't a button that destroyed the White House. It was our selection this year. Come on, guys. We all know we're picking the lesser of two evils. Glut Tony. This is how I think 50% of America approaches their diets. Guys, it's easy to lose weight. It's called the Lose It app. It counts calories, lets you know your limits, makes you aware of what's 310 calories every two ounces or 210 in a pound. It's a great guidance. Use it. I lost 22 pounds in a month. I'm living proof, man. Come on. Cut Kurt. Where's the fan cage? Where's the fan cage? Holly Hormone. Bruce Jenner can still pull off this look, you know. Hey, I got one for you. How do you make a hormone? You kick her in the... Rubber Robert and Patty Putty are actually second cousins. Little known fact. Fake Jake. Yeah, that's like every car salesman. Snotwitch Sandra. Well, I guess it's better than a tangwitch. Nah. <laughs> Fractured Frank. Fracture? That's a clean break, brother. That's gonna leave a mark. Pick a weenie. Yeah, pick a winner. If I picked my brain out of my nose, I would have picked a loser. Just like my last 642 lottery numbers. Sewn Sonia. How did she know to get her arm in there when her eyes were already sewn shut? How could she have... Phone Bella. Man, I miss rotary phones. I think I'm going to get one, just as decoration. Judd Cud. Hey, you can't feel sorry for him. If you do, then you got to feel sorry for the GPK that he's blowing bubbles with right now. Burnt Toast. <laughs> Mr. T cereal. of Wilmington, Delaware spent his entire fortune on birdseed. And yet, when he planted it, he was not able to grow one single bird. <laughs> Alright guys, great, great time. Great to be back here in the studio. This is your old pal Juice, man. Hey, listen, I'm still picking on Dodger. I'm still with Tangerine, believe it or not. Yeah, I haven't put a gun to my head yet. You believe that? But, uh, yeah, she's still hawking that, those uh, flimsy clothes she makes in the basement. I'm still friends with Blythe and Wally. Yeah, you know, not much has changed since 1987. But you know what? You know what's changed? I have a new life breathed into me and on some level for this show i miss it so much it's been great it was so great with you guys you know and i really want to do a couple things uh we did plenty of segments and what the one i really want to do man is the top 25 greatest garbage pail kids i really want to go through all of the ones that are my picks and and review those and talk about why they, I don't know if I can come up with a freaking one-liner for all of them or anything. And I'm not saying the ones I have come up with are great for anything else, but I, I definitely would like to say something interesting about every single one of them and like kind of you know uh, uh, relive the love that we all had in the '80s and '90s and um, whatever resurgence you experienced uh, in 2003 or whatever, whenever it came back. Guys, I think I'm going to go ahead with that. I'm going to really um, focus on the top 25 greatest Garage Pail Kids of all time. And that's going to be the next show. This is show number 19. So 20 is going to be the big one, guys. 20 will be the big one. I'm going to even maybe come up with another segment within that. Hey, listen, leave comments on the YouTube channel, guys. Write to me and say, hey, don't leave out this one. Don't leave out that one. Give me some honorable mentions. Maybe they're not my 25, but maybe they're yours. 
and you have some reasons. So leave suggestions on, on what other segment you'd like to hear besides the top 25. Hey, hey, remember how you did the the things that nobody noticed in Garth Kids? Remember how you did Messy Tessie? How about doing a tribute to this one? How about doing a focus on this or that? Or how about focusing on cards with other Garth Pill Kids in them? You know, whatever. Whatever you want to hear. Let me know, guys. Let's do it together. For everyone listening, thank you very much. This is Juice. This is show 19. And I will be back shortly. See you later, guys.